Reflectance. Reflect. <laughs> oh, oh, Hello everyone, thank you so much for tuning in today as today I want to continue our topic on light. In the past few weeks, I've been talking about light in our weekly Tuesday talks. First, we discuss natural light and then how to use artificial light. I will have all that linked in the cards and the description for you to check out. Today is a short lecture about how to calculate how much lighting fixtures you need for a space. If this is your first time watching this channel, hello and welcome. My name is Rasha, I am an architectural student and I do architectural videos ranging from sketching, renders and talks just like this one. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. How much is enough light? Having to calculate how much LED lighting you need to create a well-lit space? Well, it can be a bit complicated. Whether you're designing LED lighting for business applications or private applications, Here's the way by which you can calculate what number of LED lumens you'll need to adequately light your space. The lumen method. This is a simplified equation of lighting design which can be used to determine the number of luminaires required for overhead lights which are arranged in a regular pattern. There are more complicated methods but why take the long way when you can do the easy way? 2000 years. The illuminous level required is how much light a space needs and there's a table online specifying each space and how much lux it needs. The area is the length by width for the space and is measured by meter square. Lumens is a measurement of light emitted by a source. This is also known as brightness or light output. It says initial because lights are not equally efficient and the efficiency of lamps is the number of lumens a bulb produces for each watt it consumes. Obviously, the higher that number, the more efficient the bulb is. So for example, lighting products that have earned the Energy Star label are high efficient, meaning they deliver the same features while using less energy. And you can find all of that by looking at the manufacturer's catalog for your lighting product. Utilization factor is the proportion of the luminous flux emitted by the lamps which reaches the working plane. And it's also a measure of effectiveness of the lighting scheme. It ranges from 0 to 1 depending on the average reflectance of the internal finishes. Light loss factor. It allows for effects such as decrease in light output caused by the fall in lamp luminous flux with hours of use, the deposition of dirt on luminaire. It is also called the maintenance factor and you can also leave it as 0.95 for your own project if you expect regular maintenance. Let's try an example as this is the only way to fully understand everything. You have been employed as a lighting engineer for the University of Wolverhampton. A lecture theater measuring 30 meter by 10 meter requires a service illuminance of 750 lux. The type of lights to be used are strip fluorescent lamps in recessed louvre with reflecting surfaces with a luminous flux output of 4050. Your light loss factor is 0 0.95, the room height is 4.5 meters, and the working height is 1 meter. So first thing you need to do is calculate a room index, which is it's just a simple calculation. All you have to do is the length by width of the room, and then divide that by the height of luminaire above working surface, and then the length of the room plus the width of the room. So after you've done with your calculation, you'll get a number of 2.14. So you need to identify your utilization factor. So you're going to look at the utilization factor table, identify the light fitting type, bottom one, 50%, select the appropriate ceiling reflectance, which is 0 0.7, then look for the wall reflectance within the block 0.1. Look at the room index 2.14 and then look across to, to the previously identified column where the two meet, which is the UF, which is in this case 0.42. The last step is to calculate the number of lamps. And after you substitute all of your information in this equation, you'll have your number, which is 139.23 lamps. 
And there you have it. Let me know in the comments if you thought this video was helpful, if you were surprised by the end number. Try it for your own design as well and send me your results on YouTube or any of our social media. I'm Rasha Sharuro and I'll see you next time.